Good solid 24 inch <laughs> trout. Might have to kiss that one. Today we're fishing with Captain Scott Peters down at the Steenhatchee River. Uh, he's going to take us out on a great trout adventure and possibly some redfish too. Yeah, we're going to look for some redfish as the tide comes in. Should be good. Well, that's going to be awesome. They've been so nice to invite me down here. I know a lot of you folks at home have seen me before fishing freshwater mainly. Freshwater fishing has been kind of slow. These guys have been really nice in inviting me down here. At what temperature do the trout start to migrate from the flats? up into the rivers and out to the deeper water. It depends on the time of the year. Um, I mean, this river is a, a global refuge. It's a, it's a warm water refuge for them. So they have to come in here when the water gets down to a certain temperature. And usually you're going to see that around under 50, mid 50 degrees. Where does this river start at, do you know? Or is it made yeah. up by a bunch of smaller tributaries? No, this a... river actually goes all the way up into Lafayette County and actually ends to an underground spring. And it's just a spring fred river all the way up. It's actually about 20 miles. You can go by boat about eight miles up the river. And then it starts into some rocks and shoals, and we have great brim and, and bass fishing up, up the river as well. Well, I've never fished here before. This is my first trip down here. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. Fishing the river is, is good, but you know, they're up there. You got to get around everybody. I, I got a little spot picked out for us that. Uh, good to be on them like that. Really, is, uh, really good fish. You spend the time out here. That's, yeah, that's yeah. how you're able to. Well, that's the thing, you know, mm -hmm. being out here day at, day in, day out, and, and that's what makes a good guy. You know, you gotta oh, stay with him. You gotta follow him around. You, uh, how, how many trips a week do you have this time of year? Or a well, month, this is or? a slower time of the year due to weather, but today, look, it's gonna approach close to 70 degrees. Not too cold this morning. Um, you don't have to be in any hurry to get out. Um, but you know, a lot of people are in the in the woods and not on the water this right, time of year. Right. And, uh, but it's one of the greatest times of the year, my favorite time to fish, um, when you get a nice warm day like this. It's a beautiful day. As you'll see a little later on, you're going to... It's kind of a catch-22 for outdoorsmen if they do have the time off, you know, because it is hunting season. Sure. So yeah. do I go sit in the tree stand, or do I you know, come out here on a day like this and fish? Yeah. Well, you gotta take for me... you got to take advantage of days like this. For me, it's a no-brainer. I, I just enjoy fishing so yeah. much. Say, they, can, they can see up here. This segment brought to you by Woods and Water Magazine, providing outdoorsmen with timely news and information since 1978. Check them out on the web at www.woodsandwater.net. Well, right now, today, um, we're approaching a tide. Like I said, there's a new moon today. Our first incoming tide's going to be around a 2.7 high tide, which is the average of what the tide's going to be throughout the day. Say. Um, our, our main average tide's about three to four foot, depending on the moon and time of the year here. So uh, we're not looking for a real strong tide being a 2.7. When you get up in the three foot tides, which are our average tides, you'll see a really flood tide. Okay. Um, right now we're, we're looking at just a, uh, just a little nip tide here coming in, and it should be high around 2.30 this afternoon. Okay, you know, with all this grass and as the tide comes up, the, the fish will actually move in here more? Or yeah, the, well, the fish are laying a lot in a lot of these sand holes here, and um, a, as the tide gets up, uh, they like to move over. A lot of these rocks are exposed throughout the day, and uh, being exposed, they just soak up a lot of warmth and sunlight, and that's what the trout are looking for. They're looking for a warm spot they're, this time of year. They're not really looking for bait. Um, areas. They're going to where they naturally can survive. So, uh, you know, once the, the rocks put off a little bit of heat, these trout are going to move out over the oyster bars and out over the rocks. But as the afternoon wore on, a surprise front pushed in from the north, dropping the temperature, clouding over what had started out as a beautiful day, and forcing us to change tactics. The fish have left the flats and gone back up into these uh, edge of these creek mouths and 
into some of these creeks here. And give this a few more minutes. We'll find out. Right on the edge of those rocks. There you go. Nice. A couple of the smaller guys here. Oh, I got one. Oh, look at this. Yeah. There you go. It's on now, baby. Woo! Get over there. Now, can I, can I play these? Whoa, look at that. We're running dry. Can I play these like I play bass and run around the boat with them? You or do, do I have that. A, Is there a standard? Look Sometimes you don't have any choice. That's a nice that's trout. It's gotta be that, a 15 or 16 pounder, wouldn't you say? At least. Whoa. Very nice trout. Very Look nice. at the size of this big. Come on, Mr. Trout. Let everybody at home see you. Come on, quit fighting now. It's just barely hooked there on the edge of the lip. Yeah. Come on. There we go. All righty. All right. Woo. There's a gator trout. How about that? It's a very. Well, we're going to have to get some pictures of this. One. Very nice trout. That could be my new I biggest say, trout I've ever caught. I say he was hooked in the corner, but he had it in there pretty good. Must be one of them bass set hooks. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Look at this guy. Go ahead and get this out of the way. I mean, this is about a good, <laughs> good solid 24-inch <laughs> trout. Might have to kiss that one. I appreciate the opportunity that you gave me to come out and catch that big bad Absolutely, boy. That's yeah. my biggest trout I think I ever caught. Thanks, yeah. man. I'm gonna have to get a picture of that guy before I let him loose. You can do that again. That was, that was a very nice fish. <laughs> and what are these fish there's doing? There's one. Up here? Oh, looky there. Oh, that was my bad. Um, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of bait fish. What are these fish up here eating? No, there's a and it's hard to see throughout the day down there, but there's a lot of small bait shrimp down mm. here, and. Um, they hide in this grass, and that's what they're over here mainly feeding on this okay. this time of year. Let's see if I can get back out there. I had a good hit right there. Yeah, mostly bait. Uh, mostly mostly shrimp. There's there's a few bait fish uh, left around. Most of it's up in the creeks, or most of it's uh, you know offshore ways too. Oh, trout, where'd you go? You just barely came up and. Hit that one. The well, last one I killed. He, he didn't hit mine very well. That sounded like a good one. That was not the one I had before because this one's not moving. <laughs> Fish there. You know, I figured they was all going to be as big as the last one, but. <laughs> Such is not well, you the know case how this that time. It's holding down Still there. could be a keeper though, huh? Oh yeah, this is definitely a, definitely a keeper fish. Wow. That's a good looking little fish, ain't he? Well, you know, he hit that one harder than that big one. You know what? I mean, he the, smoked that one. I always say they can't see their tails. They don't know how big they are. <laughs> You know, with the, the cloud cover that came in and the wind that changed direction, we've done a lot of moving to find these fish. Yeah, yeah, they have moved uh, with this front coming in a little bit. Um, uh, this is a good solid, uh, I say a good 17 and a half, 18 inch fish. That's your average average size fish for the area there. With a new moon now and a little bit of cold front coming through this uh, later on this week, looks like they're taking refuge to the, to the creek mouth. Now folks, we're out here, it's, it's the middle of January. And uh, the forecast was supposed to be in the mid 60s, right? Close to 70. Right. Yeah. Uh, no wind, but as we as we've been out here, it's got a little bit, uh, a lot cooler. I've got my jacket back on, and uh, my nose is running a little bit, yeah. and I should have probably wore gloves. But you know, being so close to home, this, this is awesome. January. Yeah. Could have another seven pounder on here. That's a nice fish. 
Nice fish. They don't jump like bass, do they? No, not this time of the year. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, that's a good fish. Good. Well, let's pull them back this way just a little bit. There we go. Yay. One for the freshwater guy, yay. <laughs> <laughs> It was awful nice of you to let me cast to that particular spot there. Well, Mr. you know, Scott. I started wanting you to, you know, come back and do this with me again, so I didn't want you to. <laughs> You've caught some nice ones there today. Oh, Very beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Finally got a good little bite going here. Yeah, we do. A little bite, catching several. It's like four or five bites in a row. I like to do in, in this shallow water, especially on a day when you have low visibility like this, is what I call, you know, working the clock. You know, you, you might start o out over here and gradually make a few casts kind of back and forth so, so that you get to cover instead of casting straight out, straight out, straight out. Yeah. Make sure that you work the area, you know, pretty good so you kind of know what you're working oh, with. Yeah. Um, of course, in here we're trying to mimic uh, any pinfish that should be back in here. And the key to working these baits is to work them slow. Pink around here, this is one of my favorite colors um, here. It's got a little chartreuse belly on it with a pink back. And uh, with these red hooks, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to beat. But even in, in this water that's two and a half foot deep, you just want to make sure the name of the game this time of the year is work it slow. Slow. And um, that's why we've chose this bait to go to today. That looks like a good one. There he is. That's a good that bite. That looks like a real good one. Yeah, this is a good fish. I guess I better get the net out for you this time, huh? You did me a good service, I'll do you a good service. He's coming. Yeah, that's a good fish. Good fish. There we go. Kind of important to net these fish, you know. Take the time to net them and grab down there. Just for that reason right there. Um, you know, you gotta fishing with a lot of hooks here. You gotta gotta be careful and, and watch these hooks. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Beautiful, 18-inch fish. Nice fish there. I do I do believe that makes it three to. Is that three to two there, Jr? Is three to two. Three to two. I had to give him my special lure to make that make him catch a few. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's funny how you, uh, when we came out here, you just picked that rod with the pink bait on it right you know, away. My dad's caught me on that before. You know, <laughs> that does happen. We'll let this guy go. Tell you what, guys, we'll be right back with more new South Outdoors. This segment is brought to you by Gulf County Tourism. Take it easy. Welcome back everyone. We've moved from the flats in the rock pile. We've moved back into the river. It's getting later in the day. And we're gonna stop at one more spot. And uh, from the looks of things behind us when we pulled up, everybody's, you know, they're biting pretty well. Tell us a little bit, Captain Scott, what are we gonna do right here to finish up the day? Well, you know, as the tide starts uh, falling out there off the flats, I lost a little water. So um, as I was talking earlier, this this river, which is uh, amazing, it's a one more refuge for these trout. And, um, you know, with these colder fronts, they, they've, they've moved into the river. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty exciting uh, when they get in here. Uh, as you can see, some of these ripples behind us, there's a bunch of oyster bars right off the back side of us here. And uh, what they do is this drops off to about 10, 12 foot deep, and they hold on these edges um, here. So what we're gonna do is try to target them here, coming off these bars, coming out of the creeks as the water's flowing out of the creeks here behind us. Are we gonna throw the same same baits, or are we gonna, um, are we gonna change well, it Well, we're gonna, we're gonna start out throwing some. As this tide falls, then we'll switch to a little bit more like a 52 MR lure, something that's going to sink a little bit more, or maybe even throw a, a little jerk bait or, you know, jig some uh, a gulp off the bottom here, see if we can get something going. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's try something. Let's there. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Good job. Nice trout here. Uh, nice keep. Look, look at me. Look at me snagging poles. Switched it back up to white Berkeley Gulp 3 inch trip on an 8 ounce jig head. 8 ounce seems to be getting it down below the current. Let's 
see. Look for us there. Very nice. I finally hooked one. There you go. There you go. You know. Lots of trout, no matter what size it is. No wrong yeah. That'd be some I think that's the first non-keeper we've caught all day yeah, out of yeah. all the ones we caught. You, you're right. There we go. There he is. Well, I tell you, it doesn't get any better than that right there. Mr. JR, I would tell you how many this is, but after all the trout day, I think I've started to lose count. But you're up there somewhere pretty good numbers. Oh, I lost uh, another one. I hear you. <laughs> I see where you all the comforts of home. Yeah. Look at how nice this is. So you get to sit in the captain's chair. Look at that. Catch nice fish like this. Wow. Wow. Come here, baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Look at here. I almost put my thumb in his mouth. That would have been a big <laughs> mistake. That would have been a big mistake. Not too many you can lip around this, this part. <laughs> Another small one, but they're just hanging right off. You see that edge of that ripple right mm -hmm. here behind us? Right. They're just hanging well, see, right. Well, I, I didn't I, want to. Uh, I didn't want to get too far ahead of you in catching them, so I let you cast there. But that's right. actually where I caught my. Yeah, from that. You know, you kind of pushed me out of there anyway. So, okay. You can. <laughs> I let it bump down that whole edge there, little guy. Bump down that whole edge there until. Oh, did I cast where you just threw? Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Let me see if I can get in there with you. I'm sorry. Oh, I you did. What a great catch. All right, it's on now. Here we go. Who's going to catch the fish first out of there? Right over here. Boom. As the sun started to set and we were wrapping things up, Captain Scott made one last cast, called his shot to try and put himself in the lead for most fish of the day. Oh, on the last cast. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. That officially puts me in the lead. Yeah, yeah that puts you one ahead of me. That Not was several, the official, that was his official last cast. That was my last official cast. last cast. I just fell. <laughs> oh, yeah, little guy, but it don't matter. It's like calling your shot. All right, buddy, your turn. Last one. I've had a great day. Is this huh? my last cast? Well, I was using your cast as my last cast. All right, well, we can work like that. That's fine with me. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, oh my came off. <laughs> Gee, that's too bad. That's too bad, or we'd have been tied. <laughs> A big thank you goes out to Captain Scott Peters. Thank you, buddy. Enjoyed it. Captain Scott, thank you very much for such a wonderful day. Uh, we, we battled the elements a little yeah, bit and did. chased the fish around. We were going to do a little bit of uh, flats fishing. The, yeah. You had found some fish in the holes. Uh, the weather changed. We had to uh, switch tactics. Tell us a little about uh, just quickly what we had to do today. Yeah, we went over. We started targeting. Instead of some of the sand holes, we started targeting the oyster bars and some of the rock piles. And uh, we found out that uh, we had a few, found a few fish on, on that. Um, we did, had a very great day. Could have caught a nice limit of fish there. Um, we decided to wrap the day up, try something a little bit different. Came in here to the river right. and uh, fished some of the holes on the outgoing side um, when we, the water left it flats. And uh, you know, we, we also did well there. And um, yeah, all in all, um, we call it a lot of fish today. We did catch a really lot of fish time. today. And folks, this is what it's all about. If you ever get a chance to come out, if you want to do some trout fishing or red fishing, contact Captain Scott. You can get, uh, you'll see his information on our screen, and you can also go to our website at NewSouthOutdoors.com to get the latest fishing tips, news, and, and more. And until next week, this is J.R. Monday here. Captain Scott. See you next week. See you next week. This segment brought to you by Hunt Club Subs and Grill.
Check out their online menu at www.huntclubsubsandgrill.com.